Hello and welcome to today's video. I'd like to thank Solbio for actually supporting this channel. And uh, Solbio is a completely natural toilet fluid. It can be also used in the waste tank. It's environmentally friendly as it's made from completely natural ingredients. So if you'd like to know more about this product, there'll be more at the end of the current video and there will be links below. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Bad Kissingen. This is Abenteuer und Allrad, the largest off-road trade fair in the world. This is a six meter Mercedes van conversion. And for something like this, for the construction uh, part of it, you're looking at around 50 and a half thousand euros. And to that, you have to add the cost of the base vehicle. And uh, let's have a look though at some of the details. Well, before I do that, this, this is the equipment that comes with it. So it's a 599 long, 199 wide, height 285 empty weight 3150 uh, giving 350 kilos of payload so uh, for two people that's uh, not too bad but for four it's uh, not enough but of course there's only sleeping for two inside so that's all there's going to be in here now one of the features about the which makes a Mercedes difficult to build with is the shape what you can do to get this widthwise bed is to extend it outwards like that and as we go out you should you will see how that has been done above uh storage and oh got stuff in there so i uh, uh won't <laughs> won't stop pulling it out and very nice large uh, skylight above um, also storage under the bed and here we have the toilet which has been locked and so I'll open the toilet up and there you have a particularly large now that is re it's really well done in my opinion in a vehicle, this is a six meter Mercedes Sprinter. Look at the space in there. Yeah, I'll even come in. Just to make the point, you can see I also make the point. It's cold outside, I've got a hat on. And I'll close the door. Look, six meter Mercedes Sprinter. Once again, I'll say the same thing. Look at all that, oh, that's space, 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 space. No, obviously I wouldn't be normally standing in the shower with my shoes on. That. That's a really strong point about this vehicle. Okay, right, so we've got a bit of storage on the other side. There you go, and that's all their stuff. Anyway, it's nice to actually see it actually in use. As we don't often see the vans uh, with stuff in them. There you go, there's all the stuff down there as well. Perhaps I shouldn't be opening their private stuff. Anyway, it's all in a good cause. Uh, right, kitchen, what this comes also is very deep sink. Uh, I can see this being used. Um, you know, it can have some very elegant, nice looking uh, equipment. But the problem is, I've got to ask myself, is it practical? And I do think it's best to have a cover, if only to, because you just put stuff on top of it. Anyway. Uh, now, as these things are built to order, you get what you ask for. And if you, if you, if you want, don't want something, then it's gonna be cheaper. And if you do, then it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna cost more. This one comes with a rather small fridge down there, an extension here. And uh, there you can see, uh, here's your, uh, uh, the Truma heating, the electric, the solar, 
And yeah, another feature I'm always going, I don't like storage above the, the driving part. Though I do appreciate in the six meter van, it's uh, storage is at a premium, yeah. Uh, but I like the way this has been done. I mean, uh, they've taken it out and, and I can sort of stand up here. I'll even turn the camera around so you can see me once more, just in case you don't want to go. You see, I can stand up here um, as I get out of the driving or the passenger chair. So there's plenty of space in here. Right, uh, let's have a, a bit of a, uh, there's the fridge. It's got really one of these small fridges down there. And let's come to the back because here we can get an even better look at how these lugs here have been built out uh, using the um, the sliding part for the door. Uh, well, you, I'll make bring that a bit more. And that is what gives that space inside. And at this side, it's the hardest part. The other side is not so hard, but this because we've got the door here, that makes it particularly difficult. And not only that, we can have a look at the rear as well to get a better appreciation as well of how that has come out on both sides. And gives a, a look at uh, this. This here will come out in storage. Of course, I mean, storage can be built as is required. Uh, once more here. That. That's particularly well done, in my opinion. And notice how it sort of here, it just sort of slopes out. So here it's quite, um, there's not much of it, it's only about what? One and a half centimeters. But as it slopes out to here, there, we have it at what? Five centimeters, something like that. So I uh, probably sounded quite, um, impressed by that but i as i am uh that i like that very much as a as, as a as a van conversion so obviously small companies they largely build to order and uh so you've got the name of the company bellmobile uh which is not so far from here in uh, Wurzburg or near Wurzburg. and so if you have any questions though You'd have to contact them and ask them. Uh, they've got other vehicles here. For example, we've got this very interesting, also seven meter long Mercedes uh, Sprinter. Um, the, the construction is about 85,000. Uh, we have here a pickup sort of unit. <laughs> and, amongst, and just to give uh, other things, you can see what else we've got here at Abenteuer and Alrad, uh, these off-road shows, some of these rather impressive uh, vehicles around me. So anyway, you have to see more on that in the appropriate video. So, thanks for watching, I hope you found that interesting, and all the best from <laughs> Bad Kissingen. First time ever that I have accepted any support for uh, promoting a product on YouTube. Now I've been do on YouTube now for 15 years and I've doing the van life stuff for a number of years as well. Um, the reason I haven't accepted support in the past is because I, I felt it had to be something which I really agreed with and a product I knew so I had to feel a hundred percent about recommending it to others. This is Solbio and this is a toilet additive. Now what's the point of a toilet additive? Well when you use the toilet then it goes into a cassette and you have to dump the cassette somewhere. Now uh, if you just urinate into it then there should be no problem 
but if you put any solids into it, then it makes it a bit more difficult. Now, one thing you can do is if you have constant diarrhea, then you may not need a toilet additive because you should be able to dump it without any problems. For those of you who don't suffer from this problem, then uh, one thing you might want to consider doing, in fact, one thing you're going to have to consider doing is using a toilet additive. And there's two types. There's the blue stuff, which is manufactured by a number of companies and it works pretty well. No problems there whatsoever with the way it works. Oh, there's the green stuff, which is ecologically based. Now, up until now, the green stuff didn't work as well as the blue stuff. But I think with Solbio, uh, we're now seeing a comparative uh, working uh, rate. It works, just, it works just as well. So it's... Uh, ecological. What it's got inside are natural soaps, it's got natural citric acid, it's got uh, essential oils and plant extracts and that breaks down whatever it is you're throwing into the toilet or, or releasing into the toilet I should say and when you come to a dump station you can just tip up your cassette and it all flows in nicely. Now you may say, well, I have constant diarrhea, and so therefore I don't need something like that. Well, uh, that, that may be the, the case, but one thing that this has got, it's got a rather pleasant fragrance to it as well. Now, I personally like the, the, the fragrance of the blue stuff, but I know I'm in a small minority on that one. One thing I noticed uh, when I've been doing tests of really small vehicles, uh, such as you know five and a half meter ones above all, so as soon as you open the door, you have this um, uh, fragrance, let's say, of the blue stuff sort of sort of hits you. Now, uh, with this one here, Solbio, it's got a more natural sort of smell. It's it's a bit. Uh, like uh, eucalyptus. I'm trying to find a good way of actually describing it and the best thing I could think of it's got you know, these cough drops or these eucalyptus like sweets and it's got this type of fragrance within the uh, within the toilet anyway and uh, if you're in a small van I bet it fills up the it could fill up the small van I haven't really noticed it so sort of when I'm sitting here in this position for example but uh, maybe I'm not using enough of it to actually notice. Uh, um, next thing is, is it safe to use? Well, the thing with the blue stuff is there are um, good reasons to suggest that it may not be completely safe to use. I mean, it does break things down in a chemical manner. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to suggest it's um, dangerous or anything like that, but I don't think it is particularly good for the environment. Uh, if it comes into contact with uh, plants or things of this nature. I mean, there's even, there's warnings that, I mean, if you get it in a fish tank or something like that, I don't know what you want to put in a fish tank, but uh, if you put it in the fish tank, then the fish will die. So, um, this, as it comes from natural things, you assume that it's okay. Now, the blue stuff as well, I've noticed, I always get it on my hands. And not only that, I mean, obviously, I sort of miss the toilet as well. But sorry, I get it in the toilet bowl. I don't miss the toilet. I miss the sort of the hole where you open up for the toilet. And it sort of stains, and it takes a few uh, flushes for it to actually go down. I don't know if that's bad or not, but um, it's, uh, with this stuff, it's, uh, it's almost translucent. Not quite, but almost. As is when you dump it out, which seems a bit odd the first time, you think, hang on just a minute, I'm sure I didn't just urinate in there. Uh, but but that's the way, that's the way it is. Um, the, the manufacturers say it doesn't cause skin irritation. I have never experienced skin irritation from the blue stuff, but I have heard of people uh, uh, having this problem. And um, let's have another look at it, because here it comes in two. Uh, this one, one's for marine use and the other's for motorhome use. Now it could be that mariners use the toilet or they eat something a bit more dodgy or I don't know, but it's it's different. This contains 40 um, doses and it's dosed via this thing down here, this little tap. Now um, I know there are people who are suspect of these taps. Now I 
previously worked in the packaging industry and indeed I used to give uh, talks being an expert I don't think I was much of an expert but but uh, but uh, I do know a little bit about it this technology is perfectly safe I think to use it's not I mean it's often used in bag in the box applications and so you, know, you get wine or something the wines in a in a um, in a box and they've got this tap that sticks out and you and you use it in the company I used to work where we produced blueberry juice we use this technology and I've never known the taps to go wrong in my direct experience but when they first came out I agree there was problems with them I've heard of people saying they put something in the fridge or that they, they are uh, you know in the, in the van and something hit here in theory you're supposed to knock both ends down at this oh sorry so pull them both up and press down at the same time to get it to to work so I mean I do accept that these things can go wrong just as I mean if you don't close a bottle properly everything will go out but I make, I make that part other than that the bag may seem a little uh, unsturdy because of the, the the way it is but uh, I can tell it's made from um, recycled uh, it's green plastic it's uh, and uh, I think it's I think it's quite safe so uh, there are some observations on this and uh, as far as I'm concerned I, I really do think it's a, it's it is a good solution for you now it costs roughly the same as the blue stuff there isn't much difference now i do appreciate that um in um with if there was a price difference that might be a problem although i think if you're into motorhomes then you've probably like living in harmony with nature which is what i'm in it for really I think I think it's the call of nature this contact with nature and all the rest of it so I think that protecting nature is something that uh, I, I would want to do whether or not I'm prepared to pay a premium yes maybe I'm prepared to pay a little bit of a premium for it but in all honesty this between this one and the blue stuff there's hardly any difference right so uh, if you find that of interest there will be a link below it's not an affiliate link it just tell you where to get the stuff from um, I'm not on any affiliate programs at all deliberately so nobody can accuse me of uh, uh, trying to promote something to get the affiliate uh, link but I do absolutely believe in this product so thanks very much for watching. I am currently at a place called Alexa Camping or Camping Alexa in northern Poland. And you may have heard some of the noises on the outside from the campsite. But I shall tell you more about that in another video. So there you go. This is about Solvio. Thanks for watching.